Hey, hey, welcome back to 3 Minute Thursdays. Today we're going to be talking about why carbohydrates make you gain weight and more specifically glycogen and water retention. So, let's get into the video. So, your body converts carbohydrates into glycogen which is stored in the muscles and the liver. The average person holds around 600 grams of glycogen usually, but this can range from about 460 to 860 grams. The bigger the person, the more muscles that they have, the more room they'll have to store glycogen. In my previous episode of 3 Minute Thursdays, we talked about post-workout nutrition. We touched a little bit on exercise and the effect that it has on depleting your glycogen stores. What a lot of people don't realise is that even after a very heavy weight session, glycogen stores are only really depleted as much as up to 10%. The largest amount of glycogen are stored in skeletal muscle and in the liver. As energy is stored in the liver and the muscles, throughout the day, your total daily energy expenditure will start to burn through this. Similarly, if you drop your carbohydrate intake one day, your glycogen stores will not replenish and so you'll also excrete the excess water you're retaining due to glycogen. So this basically just means that your weight can fluctuate a lot, dependent on the amount of carbohydrates that are transferred to glycogen. For each gram of glycogen that you store, an extra three grams of water will be retained. So to put that into perspective, the average person will hold on to 600 grams of glycogen and along with that, they'll also hold on to 1.8 kilograms of water. So if you add them both together, you've then got 2.4 kilograms of glycogen and water that is just stored in your muscles and liver. So let's say, for instance, you then went and carried out a heavy weight training session and you dropped 10% of that. So 10% of 2.4 kilograms is 240 grams. 240 grams is almost a quarter of a kilogram or even half a pound. So what this shows us is that you could see a weight fluctuation of half a pound just after one training session. But then it's important for us to understand that it can work the opposite way too. So if you haven't been eating a lot of carbohydrates and then you do, each gram that's converted to glycogen and stored in muscle or liver will then hold on to three extra grams of water so your weight will fluctuate upwards rather than down. As nutritional habits change for everybody on a daily basis, it's important for us to understand that the weight fluctuations are largely due to water and you're not just dropping or gaining body fat each and every day. We simply need to accept that weight fluctuations are just part of the process and the best way to monitor your progress when it comes to dropping body fat is weighing yourself just once a week and doing it under as similar conditions as you can do each time. So for instance, weighing yourself on a Monday morning after you've just woken up, before you eat any food, after you've been to the toilet, each week will help you to monitor your progress a little bit more accurately rather than trying to monitor it every single day and then worrying about all of those fluctuations. It's important for me to note as well that if you're consuming a calorie deficit and you're looking to lose body fat, you could consume a high amount of carbohydrates, hold on to a lot of water and notice a fluctuation in your weight that spikes upwards. But as long as you're maintaining that calorie deficit, there's no reason for you to worry about a fluctuation in your weight because it will largely be dependent on the amount of carbohydrates you consuming and the water that you're retaining. And that pretty much sums up why carbohydrates make your weight fluctuate. So if you've enjoyed the video, please leave a like, drop a comment if you have any questions, and of course, subscribe to the channel. I will see you next week for 3 Minute Thursdays.